there's no better time as a gardener than when it's time to harvest. And while eating things fresh from the garden is best, it's still good to know ways to preserve your extra produce. So I'm gonna share the three ways that I preserve the fruits, the veggies, and the herbs that come from my garden. Make sure your workspace is clean and sanitized. This is the most important step. Fruits, veggies, jars, pots, counters must all be washed well. Check the rims of the jars, especially if they are older, to make sure there aren't any nicks or chips. For recipes and processing times, visit your state's extension office website. Use only USDA approved recipes. I'll leave the links in the description below. Some produce will need to be peeled. Blanching them will make this job easier. Fill a blanching pot and bring to a boil. Add in the produce they only need to be put in for a minute or two. Lift out the inner pot and dump the tomatoes into a sink of cold water. My kids love this job and they all take turns helping. I don't mind it either, it's oddly satisfying. Things that are acidic can be canned using a water bath canner. They are very easy to use. Things that have tomatoes in it, pickles, grape juice, fruit, are examples of that. Other vegetables such as carrots, potatoes, or beans will need to be canned using a pressure cooker type canner. I'll link to a blog post of mine with more information all about canning in the description below. If you have the extra freezer space, vacuum sealing and freezing is another good way to preserve your food. Wash and chop your vegetables and then blanch them. Blanching seals in the flavor and it preserves the color and the texture. Allow them to cool and dry before adding them to the bag. Vacuum sealers are not very expensive. I got mine for less than $40. I vacuum seal my extra squash, zucchini, beans, and peppers. How satisfying is that? If you freeze produce in a regular baggie, it will last a couple of months, but by vacuum sealing it, they can last up to two years. I love my dehydrator. I've made fruit leather, raisins, banana chips, and jerky. I dehydrate fruit, peppers, and herbs. It's a great idea if you don't have a lot of space to store your preserved food. When the apple chips are in the dehydrator, my house smells like apple pie. Raisins are my kids' favorite thing that we make. In a few days, we go from grapes to delicious raisins. I like to store them in jars. While I have used the dehydrator for herbs in the past, my dehydrator is usually full of fruit during harvest time, so I also hang my herbs to dry. I use string to tie them together in bunches, and then I tie them to a branch and let them hang. These also store well in a jar. Let me know if you have any questions about canning or preserving your food and leave them in the comments below. I'm gonna to link to the USDA's website and give you all the information you need to find your local extension office. And don't forget to hit subscribe. <laughs>